Welcome and welcome back everyone. If you're seeing me for the first time, my name is Switcha and I post videos about home decor items, refurbishing, thrifting, DIYing. So if you're interested into that, you will absolutely enjoy the videos that I posted on my channel. If you have not watched my first video about the Halloween decor, that's something that I personally loved as well. Those are pottery band tubes. So if you don't forget to check out right after this video, you will definitely want to make it. Don't forget to watch other videos on my channel right after this video and let me get started with today's video. Today's video is about last minute Halloween decor. So this is the video that I tried to make probably a week ago. Somehow I didn't manage a time to edit that. So I'm posting it today, but all of the DIYs that you can make it in last minute, I made three of them. Third DIY that I made, the dripping candle is my favorite one because a candle that looks unusual that you can put it on a center table or coffee table that grabs an attention right and this i think it's the most usual diy that you can make for halloween and that's something that i need it's literally five minute diy so i have put it in the in the end of the video you can enjoy first few videos it's a bit of a process but those two are amazing as well both of them are inspired from Pinterest, and uh, i tried First, first DIY is mummies that I tried to make from a band-aid. I got the human structure in wood shape, which you can easily get it in IKEA as well. And IKEA, had, IKEA has a hand structure like that. So if you, I'm pretty sure you will have it. Most of us have it in our house because it was pretty popular when it came out. So I tried to make something from that and you can actually reuse that once Halloween's done. So you can take out any of the decor on top of that and you can reuse it just the way you were using it before. And second is a tiny cute little ghost. That took most of the time, but they are so pretty, so cute. And you can put it literally anywhere in your car or in the entrance or anywhere that you like. It's so pretty. You can put it on a center table too. And this is probably the last video I'm making for Halloween decor. It's gonna be the next year, probably the same time. And let me get started with today's video. So for today's video, two DIYs out of three, we are going to use this bandage. This is obviously most important supply for the Halloween decor this year. And since we are making it a last time home decor, last time Halloween decor, uh, we probably need more supplies to make it look more, make it look like Halloween. Uh, we don't have much time to work around it. so. This was probably the best, this is probably the best thing that you can use to make your Halloween DIYs. Now for that, I cut down a tiny piece of it and I tried to scrunch it. The reason I'm scrunching it because I wanted to make it look like organic, damage something that we have it on mummies. And um, to give it a stains of blood, I had this acrylic paint which I mixed up and made the color of blood something that is a, like a dried up blur which is more like a brown and i use my finger to give it a stains this step is completely optional you can absolutely skip that if you like and um, it's something that i was trying to use that under something that i was trying to use it from the first layer so when i put the fresh pain fresh band-aid on top of that it probably just um just neutralized the color and with that same piece of bandit, I started to wrap my wood object. Now, the wood object that you can see right now, I probably got it from Dollar Store or from Ikea. I'm not uh, sure to remember, but it's easily available everywhere. You can find it on Amazon as well. And I cut down a tiny piece of it and I started, started to wrap my bandit around that. Now, that's when I realized I'm probably making a mistake because I didn't use any kind of glue to do that. I was using band-aid on its own and uh, trying the band-aid when it was done. Uh, after a few days while I was making the video, while I was editing the video, I saw that uh, the product is falling apart. So I, I had to redo it. While I redid it, um, I had to tear everything and I used hot glue ever since I started from the first layer. So for the first layer, I used cloth which has blood stain and I wrapped it up very nicely sticked it really nice firm and I have it like that for about five six hours and I saw if it's falling apart once it was completely 
completely tucked in i tried to do the second layer of the same banded without any stains now this is the the one that you, that you can see right now is the first layer it was a bit of a task but i could make it possible in 30 minutes overall now this is the second time i was trying to do it i had to redo everything but i think this was the right way right and accurate way to do this because this is still like this it's perfectly in shape very well tucked in and i can still go for under 15 days with the same object and this you can use it on a coffee table or probably on your shelves so this is uh, my favorite diy out of three let me know how do you like it and this is how i made it Now for the second project as well, we will need a bandage and then for this one, I probably used one roll which is about um, 3 meter I would say and I had this tiny ping pong balls which I was going to use for this project. I had to cut down this bandage into similar portions so it can cover up my ping pong balls i will show you why i'm doing this later on but i had to measure one piece and i cut the whole roll according to the same size it doesn't really need to be exact but probably similar size would be better and to make a ghost out of it i made, mixed my white school glue with water it was half and half you can use more glue as well it's gonna take time uh, for it to get dry but yeah that should work too and i attach my ping pong balls evenly to my mat i used a, a drop of hot glue to attach them so it can stabilize itself i can put this bandage in bandage on top of that to give it a shape like a ghost so I started doing that in one layer so for one layer I was the first time for me so I I went by one on one for second coat I actually did it in a bulk so I dipped my five or six cloths together and then I wrapped around the coast I had to keep those cloths really wet and drippy so it can just create a shape like a ghost if it's too dry probably not, not just gonna give a shape like a ghost then i let it dry for about a day and second day it turned out like that it was pretty easy to take it out on the, from the ball and it was actually having a cute chubby ghost kind of a shape and it was easy for me to take out my ping pong balls on the mat as well because i used just one drop of glue so it's the easiest thing that you can do and it's something that you won't be wasting any products to give it an eyes i had a black acrylic paint which i used to give it a shape like eyes i painted ghosts with just the shape of eyes nothing else no mouth and i had led lights which i also got from dollar store so i tried to make a ghost kind of light string from this i passed it through the ghost it was pretty easy because it was bandaged so but so pass it through the ghosts were pretty easy and this is how i did my second diy it was a ghost string and it was really cute and nice uh, diy that i i could make for home decor which i can also detach if i need So my third year I was very impromptu so for that I actually tried to make a candle that is stripping a different kind of wax than the candle itself. Now if you want you can use white and red candle as well. I really wanted to go on a darker side so I used blue and dark blue, blue and black candles. You can certainly use a candle that is in white color and that you can drip red color on that that will look even more spooky and that was something that will stand out as well uh, for me this was the color that i wanted to opt for but you can use the same procedure to create your own candle version 
For that, I had a black tea light candle, which I melted the wax and created a shape like this. So I can drip on the candle very e easily. I dripped the melted wax over the candle in black color. At the end, I literally melted my crayon on top of that it was because candle was taking a lot more than I was expecting. So I just literally melted my crayon on top of that and it worked pretty well for me. This is a normal Crayola crayon that I've used multiple times before. You can use the same in white and red and that should turn out exactly the same. And then I just give a kind of finishing by putting on some light directly to that. And yeah, it was done. Please be very safe while doing this. You can wear gloves as well. I was pretty fine without it, but I would highly recommend to wear gloves while doing this because you might happen to burn yourself. So yeah, this was my third DIY. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching. And if you have enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on them because that will help me to create my own YouTube community. Once again, thank you so much. Don't forget to leave your feedback because I read all of them and that help me to improve my content. So once again, thank you so much. I will see you in the next video.